Good evening, guys. So, this is uh, it's been a long time coming. They keep changing the process. So, this is a video on how to update your Volkswagen Discover Media Discover Pro navigation. So, think of this as a Volkswagen SD card. I know it's a Skoda, but the process is exactly the same. So, I'm going to show you that now. So, you need a genuine um, navigation card, either Volkswagen or Skoda. has to be genuine uh, as it has the root data on it that it needs to work. As I said, and you can't download that separately. So the prerequisites are obviously your SD card. You're going to need a computer with internet. Obviously, faster internet, the better. And it's going to have well, either an SD card slot like that or an adapter that goes from USB to SD card. So you're going to actually plug that in. Okay. So I'm going to try not to move around so much so you can hear me. So you're going to want the websites for this so all of these are going to be down in the description on youtube this video will be available on tiktok and instagram but you're going to get the full effect on youtube so what you want to do is first you're going to go to uh, the navigation website which will look a lot like this again this link will be down in the description on youtube guys so the youtube channel is the vw mechanic just youtube google that and you'll find it and it'll bring you up to this page now this page is pretty important so what you got to do is you got to create a login so all of you should have your individual logins that will make life easier you only have to create this login once so you go on to download this latest map that's what i mean there look discover pro discover media you'll have one of them this doesn't work for the rns guys if you have an rns system in your vehicle this isn't the update for you so then you press download latest map there we go so this is the website it takes you to when you press Discover Media, Discover Pro on the first page. Then you press go to login and then create account. So that's just down here where I'm highlighting now. Then create your account. So it should be definitely uh, to an email address you're going to remember. Um, you know, the usual create accounts and it'll bring you up to a screen like this. So what we're going to do is this is when you've logged in, you'll have this screen. So we're going to follow golf because Octavia is a golf. Um, so if we go, you can pick, like I say, every car you've got. All the options are there. So if your car's on this list, happy date. If it isn't, unfortunately, this update is not for you. And we go into commercials as well. So you've got the caddies, the Californias, the transporters, and the Amarox. So we're going to follow the golf today. And it's 2018. So we're going to go GTD from 2018 or 2017. And that's going to give you the two options. And it's nice. It gives you the pictures as well. Because sometimes it's easier to see that this one's got two buttons and this one hasn't than the other way around. <clears throat> so it's the Discover Media. And you're going to see these are a bit scary because you'll see 17.2 gig as a file size there. You don't need all of these guys unless you're doing some cross-country, cross-Europe madness all the time. So all I do is I pick European Bundle 1. Now, obviously, pick whatever country applies to you. This download and this update does not apply to America. So the United States of America or North America does not apply. So we're going to go with the United Kingdom for now. And that's there. See, that's a little bit of better of an update of 7.6 gig. And you're just going to press download. And then it'll give you some license conditions. It's, it's done by TomTom, Tom, by the way, guys. So TomTom, Tom, very reputable brand. So all you're going to do is tick that and download. And that's what you're going to do. And it'll pop up there as a Discover Media. So the one I'm using is the Skoda one. But that's because I'm updating the Skoda. This is why your speed of your internet is very, very important. So if it's really, really slow, it's going to take a while. I'm running pretty quick internet. So come back out. So we can cancel that. And that's the file I'm going to use for now. Don't let that confuse you though, guys. So the next stage is once that's downloaded, you're going to need a program called 7-Zip. And this is an unzipping um, program that's going to help you stick it on the SD card. So this link here that I'm highlighting now will again be down in the description on YouTube. Um, so I'll, I'll put as much information as the, on the links as I can just so it, it just differentiates so it's not confusing. But you're going to want to download the 32-bit for Windows. That's it. 32-bit for Windows. And then that'll install that into your laptop so we can put this down in fact we actually need that up and then we're going to go on to download there and we're going to find 
that file. So that'll say Discover Media or Discover Pro for your Volkswagen. And you press that button there, and that'll take you to the actual file, which is cool. And that's a zip file. And then all we're going to do is leave it at that for a second. And this is how we prepare the SD card. So the SD card itself, if we get a nice zoom up, you'll see the lock there. Ignore the blood blister on my thumb. It's all good fun being a mechanic. You'll see lock there. So this needs to be unlocked. So unlock that so it allows us to write the data. Okay. And then all you do, just slot it into your laptop. And you're going to see, hopefully you see it pop up. So again, questions can go down, down in the bottom, guys. It's absolutely not a problem. I'll do my best to cover all the topics on the video. But yeah, sometimes there's people just have different questions, which is not a problem at all. So what we need to do is when that loads up down the side, you'll see SDHC, so drive D. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna format that. So at the minute, that's got navigation data on. So make sure it's set to FAT32. That's not offending anyone, guys. Honestly, that is FAT32. And then just format it. Can be quick format, it's not a problem. And then just stop. And all that's doing is just gonna erase what's on the uh, SD card. What I'd advise though, on your SD card, I'd advise backing it up. So if you back it up and something goes wrong, you've always got that to go back to. So you've actually got working navigation. So that at the moment is a formatted SD card and a file ready to go on. So all we then do is extract all, and then just on the browse, we're gonna go and find the navigation SD card. So it's there, select that folder, and that's going to take, say, files will be extracted to the D drive, the D drive being the SD card. Extract. When my, when my clicking finger works. And that's how fast it's going to do it. So I'll come back in a minute, guys, when that's uploaded to the card, and show you the final steps. And that's it guys, once it's extracted, that is what you'll see in your D drive. So this is on your SD card. If you're seeing this folder that says maps, you're winning. This is exactly what it should say. It should say nothing else. There should be nothing else on there. Um, you don't really need to click into it, but I can show you anyway. Just all the little different segments it's got. Again, it's all little bits of uh, data that you, doesn't really mean a lot to yourself. Um, but yeah, as long as that's on there, happy, happy days. So all we're gonna do now is we need to right click on the D drive and we need to eject it. Now you, you probably don't need to do that, but I'm just doing it on the safety. I'm um, just to, I don't want anything corrupting. And then you pop your SD card out of your computer. So now you've uh, ejected it properly, it's got no issues. And then that little lock pin, I'll show you. I'm hoping the camera focuses enough. There you go. Slide that into the lock position. Now we're going to nip out to the car and I'm going to show you exactly what to do when you put it in. Dead easy. Okay, so you're going to come out to your vehicle now. Obviously, I'm in a Skoda. Again, same process for the Volkswagen. Uh, it's just a different website to download the Skoda data from, but I can do a Skoda vehicle um, update if anyone needs one. I could do that as a separate video. So in your car, ignition on and you've got navigation database unavailable. That's because I've got the SD card here. So pop the SD card into your slot literally all you do let it click and watch one once and there you go navigation comes up and then all you need to do really is just check it so go on advanced settings ignore that don't go on advanced settings version information sorry and then you'll see ec europe 2024 so bang up to date guys um there it is so I just wanted to pop on camera at the end of this video, not to be ignorant, because I, I wanted to show my face, of course. I want to talk to you guys as well. Apologies, they keep changing the process, but this is a pretty bulletproof process. Um, like I said in the video, any comments that you do have, chuck them down below. Um, this video is going to be available across TikTok, uh, across Instagram, and then obviously on YouTube. YouTube is where the links are going to be down in the description. So please follow the YouTube video. The YouTube channel is the VW Mechanic, and you can see the links that I've described down below that are going to help you massively in sorting this out. So other than that, guys, hope this helps. Thank you very much. Just remember, guys, this does not 
apply to RNS units. So RNS, that's the older version of Volkswagen, and North America. So the United States of America, North America is not does not apply to you, unfortunately, which is a bit of a shame. Hopefully, if they do bring something out, guys, um, for the United States of America, I can maybe do a video there. Um, because I know you guys love our British accent. But other than that, guys, have a fantastic evening. Hope this helps. And I will see you in the next one. Take care. See you very, very soon.